to give you an idea of the size of some of these things it is huge a lot of the trees are broken it's like a bomb went off it's just horrible bird there. Cool. All right, this is a bit of a surprise. I got to the parking up here and I noticed that the parkway is closed in both directions with signs and stuff. So we got road closed and some more road closed here. Deer way up there. There he is. It's a group of section hikers in front of me. It was here a couple days ago. They were south further. It said the ice was just treacherous. Stuff falling out of the trees everywhere. Slippery. Not sure if this is normal water or abnormal water from the snow, but it kind of looks like a spring. I'll have to check the guide and see if it's marked on there. It's flowing really nice. Right on the trail crosses over it. Back y'all on that way. Look here, let's see what we have. This is that little overlook. side of the trail. It's really Super short walk. Easy to see. And there haven't been any nice overlooks from uh, since Three Ridges. So this is actually pretty good. So I think this is Cedar Cliffs. I'm not sure. I'll have to look on the map. But there's cedars and there's cliffs. Google seems to say that this is Cedar Cliffs. What's down here? This is where I fall off. That's pretty cool. Here we are at the dripping rock slip and slide. Get my poly sheet out and do some sled riding. Hey, Kurt Sitzelman, check it out. There's moose and beaver at dripping rock. Not. Nah. Another little spring just north of Dripping Rocks. This 
one don't look so good. It's a little slow. It's probably a fair weather spring. Got some bluffage there. Shout out to hiking with Sean. Hashtag bluffage. been to humpback rocks before I am not gonna go the distance up there just to go back down so I'm gonna take the trail continuing south I can find it. it looks like a bomb went off in here and the whole trail has just been tree after tree after tree after a tree and the trail disappears and it's hard to find. Oh, I see like this. Where did it go? I guess I'm on it. Alright, see you down at the shelter. To give you an idea of the size of some of these things, It is huge. Right across the trail. Oh man, I'm just so tired. Every step I take, there's another one of these. Got to go around or through or over or under. Just time after time after time. It's really wearing me down. It's like a bomb went off. It's just horrible starting to get dark. I'm not to the shelter. I'm moving at like half a mile an hour. I really don't want to go through this with a headlamp. Oy. All right, this one takes the cake. It's just a big cluster of pool. I guess I've got to go around. All right, I made it to the shelter. It's about 10 after five. Started at eight today, so not too bad, but 15.1 miles. Tons and tons and tons of tree falls everywhere, covering the trail left and right. The back side of Humpback Mountain, uh, coming around, uh, not the short way, steep way, and the back side with all the switchbacks, it's almost unpassable. And then once you get off the loop, and start coming down to the shelter here. Um, it just took forever, and it was painful and hard. I wish I could have quit like three times along the way, and there's just nowhere to go. So, just kept on pressing. That's what I did. You can kind of see where the trees blew through. Nice disaster. There's my white blaze. Right there. Here's an interesting stop uh, heading north from the uh, Paul Wolf shelter. It's not too far, maybe a half mile or so. Let's uh, check this out. this up on the web and see how old these are. They look super old. Rosalie Phillip 
Eclipse. July 1st, 2016. Not sure why that's there. Oh, here we go. see that it says uh, 1866 oh wow and I thought it was gonna get better this morning this is just outrageous that is the uh, direction of the trail so I gotta find a way around this mess Wee almost there trail is just a disaster. I have no idea how many times I've said that in this video. Hey, here's a cool the WJ Mayo Home Place. It's kind of cool. Fireplace. I've seen pictures of this. Every single tree, the top is blown out. It's a little wet here and kind of muddy and covered with trees. I'm gonna have to put the camera away to navigate this mess. Hopefully I don't fall in. Oh, it's just killing me. Oh man, I finally get some easy stuff to walk through. This has been insane. This place looks like a bunch of loggers came through and logged it. This is at least passable. You can see the highway now, so I'm very, very happy. A uh, south founder, I think his name was Gritty, and he said it's like this all through Shenandoah, and uh, he was not looking too happy about it. He's, he's pressing through. Stairway to Rockfish Gap. I am so glad to see this. I just gotta wait for my ride. This gets an A double plus.
This is awesome. This is better than some hotels I've been in. Oh man, we're talking nice wood, got showers. It's clean, it's squeaky clean. Hey, it's dark outside. All right, Devil's Backbone Campground. Can I do this? Yeah, there we go. Devil's Backbone Campground is awesome. 